First off, welcome back to a new hardcore Minecraft world. I couldn't stay away. And we spawn by this huge mountain. I couldn't remember this, but day zero, here we go. Second season of hardcore Minecraft. You see me starting the way everybody does, but there I make six crafting tables, which you know, I'm just a pro. I mean, I end up using them all and spreading them out, so it ends up working. And <laughs> you see this catastrophe that I had with this poor cow that really suffered. But we jump right in. I grab, you know, stone, the usual. Everybody knows that plays Minecraft how this goes. And we just get into it. But... What ends up happening is there is a flower forest kind of right there to the side that you see. I do a bit of exploring, um, trying to figure out where it is that I want to go. You know, in, in the beginning of this one, I was really upset and disappointed to lose my first hardcore world. So I just really didn't know what to expect going into this one. Um, obviously wanting to be cautious, but I was debating... Because I said this before, but my ultimate dream goal is to find a mushroom island and build on that. Like a huge mega build for my first ever mega build. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I was just trying to let the area kind of decide for me. Made my bed. First thing, you know, I'm always going to do magenta. I gotta always go magenta. That's just always gonna happen and then I use my other magenta to dye this cute little sheep over here um, and I still see him from time to time I really do need to spend the extra time to bring him over to the base because <laughs> he's the first one I died and he could be like my one lone magenta until we can find a hopefully a naturally spawned pink sheep which is still a goal which is still the name the pink sheep AK. But yeah, grabbing some coal, more stone, I guess cobblestone, um, and trying to figure out what to do and where exactly I want to go. A flower forest, which besides a dark oak forest because of the mushrooms, this would be my ideal place to be, so I was really pumped on this. But I just scope it out. I saw some, a cute little bee. That's where I had spawned down over there. And I was kind of and have kind of been blown away by the natural generation. Even though this is only 1.17. Um, I've been kind of surprised at the generation in this world. As you'll see through the episodes currently. I'm filming episode 3. So this is episode 1. I got an episode edit episode two, not to get too far ahead, so I'm not spoiling that I'm still alive, um, but in episode three, I'm honestly just shocked by the generation of the land. Um, I don't ever remember any of this existing before 1.17, at least this severe, this dramatic, um, and it's just really cool. I mean, I would love to do some kind of expanded bases in all of these cutouts and Hopefully, I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself, I'm able to spend some more time building in this one and a creeper doesn't blow me up. I mean, I don't want to die at all, but, <laughs> you know, we can dream. And then I heard little axos chirping, and honestly, this is the perfect place for them and glow squid to spawn. I'm swimming around grabbing the um, poor lost glow squids, but eventually I will come back there, hopefully grab some axolotls. I haven't gotten that achievement yet. But then I was shocked that there's a village right here, right, my spawn village. Um, and you know, there's literally no chest in the whole place, which I was a little disappointed about. And I was honestly going to keep moving. And then I knew I feel like the best and easiest way for me to be successful in this hardcore run is to use these villagers to my advantage. Um, so <laughs> you see, obviously there's nothing in any of them, but it seemed like there was a lot of guys in the area just kind of scoping everything out. But I make the decision, okay, 
this is gonna be my village. I already have a lot of these guys established. Let's let's fence it in. I, I'm going to try to keep this these people alive. Try to get you know my trades, get my villagers, my librarians. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um. So yeah, I just spend this time deciding that I'm gonna make this village be mine, basically. Um, and fence the entire thing in. So that's what I'm working on here. It takes me a long time. A lot of trees are chopped down for this. Um, and for now, the fence is going to stay for a while. Eventually, down the road, I would love to go more like inspired by Gemini Tay route. Um, and I think it was in one of her hardcores, or maybe it was a survival where she... I want to let them roam free. I'm not going to lock them up. I want them to exist within the village as if they were real people, I guess. Um, so eventually down the line, I want to actually build probably a castle. I'm up in the air about the castle, but definitely transform their homes, transform the area, actually build a nice safe wall that, I mean, the fence is fine, but just develop this place as I go along, that would be such an epic thing to do. But I spent all this time trying to get everything secured. I kept having these two guys, like this guy right here, that just would not go in for a while. Um, and then I ended up having to let someone else back into the village later. But yeah, just grinding to make fences. I didn't think it was that complicated, but... You know, it's just time consuming. It's not complicated. It just takes some time. But yeah, this guy would like not go inside. <laughs> but I eventually got him in there. Um, and then just trying to really sloppily, honestly, terraform just enough to encase everyone inside and make sure that they're safe. Um, yeah, because I've got big plans for these guys, as you'll see. Real, real, real big plans. And then I feel like I'm, you know, I'm here cleaning up. Gotta start getting the farm going. All of these cows. Eventually I end up letting them out to free roam. But obviously, or should be obvious. I say obviously a lot, but it should be obvious that I need to start a farm, which is why I'm trying to grab seeds. I need to start breeding cows, get leather, get an enchantment table set up. Um, and those are some of my kind of first goals. I try to let this guy in in so many different places, but he's just not having it, so. <laughs> I do get this cow in here. Might as well, right? Lock him in, and then I'm on the hunt to try to find this villager to let him in. And he, like, he's like, okay. But then he doesn't go in right there. But convenient enough for me... He, um, I clear that out for him. He ends up falling in, so. And I do steal this potato and this carrot from them. Um, just so I can start growing my own production of everything to trade with farmer villagers on kind of the outside area. Um, but yeah, that's where the village is. I do decide, you know, I'm going to build the farm out in front at this point. Um... And then I do decide to also, I mean, right here you can see me trying to get as many of these guys in as I can. And of course I decide like absolutely we need pigs. So I try to gather all of them in as well. And then I go back for some chickadees. to get the whole farm going <laughs> and I found this huge ravine next to this um, kind of lake which is where I decide I'm actually going to build my first home and I'm planning to basically do it right here in the center of everything of this little I was gonna say lake it's not it's a pond it's a pond <laughs> but I just 
set up a few things, get some things put down in there, and then I decide, okay, I need to go mining. I believe at this time I'm on day six already. I don't know if I show it or not. Um, I'm on day six. I fled this in thinking, you know, later on, this is really going to help me. I do need to clear that out. I know I do. There's hopefully a mine shaft down somewhere in there. Um, cause you know, glow berries and all that stuff. I'm still after the 1.17 blocks, but after getting some food, I've made the decision. This is going to be my settlement. My first monster killed is a zombie on fire, but I decide, okay, I need to start mining. Like I said, I think it's day six or day seven here, and I haven't even found a piece of iron. You just saw that I'm still naky, <laughs> um, and I know I need to start making my way to get some armor. I'm in hardcore. I need to be serious, and of course, in the beginning, as you see right there, is my first iron. But in the beginning, my thought... Um, is to I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> my first thought is okay let's get iron maybe I'll enchant some of that but you will see that I also um end up going for full diamond and I get full diamond in this first episode which ended up being a huge goal for me was setting up the villagers the farm got my suit up there for the iron um, but I realized pretty quickly I needed to come down and start strip mining, which is what you see here. And you'll see a lot throughout this because I made the decision at this stage, it was just to get enough iron to get suited up, get my gear, all of that. But I feel like I made the decision pretty quickly that I, I felt like to try to start this off as successful as I could in the beginning that I needed to get full diamond armor which is what I will do but I start the farm kind of like I said out over here in front um, I do change this up a bit um, and you'll see that a little later I don't believe I show the whole process here um, but I just know I need to get this all set up in order to make everything profitable as you see my first trade with the villager right there. But I come back down, I find this, I have a run in with the skeleton and panic. <laughs> Here in two seconds, um, I was nervous because I could tell that was a cave and I don't want to connect to any of them. I'm planning to strip mine as long as I can and I saw a skeleton and you know, I didn't make a shield. I'm an idiot. I think that's one of the first things you should always make, um, but I end up taking him out and then there's another one that, you know, I just end up blocking that off and get back to strip mining. But this is when I was like, no, I'm, I'm going for full diamond. Like I, that needs to be one of my main things that I focus on first is getting my villagers set up. I need to get full diamond. And then next episode, um, I keep cutting myself off, but I use the lapis trick here for our first diamond, which has been pretty successful for me. But I decide absolutely I'm going to take advantage of that before another update and they get rid of it. Um, but to first diamond, woo, 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 woo. but I decided, and I guess I felt like to make this as successful as possible, um, I made a map. <laughs> I, I think I've said this before in a video, but I've always played bedrock with a map. And I plan to do that moving forward. You see me terraforming because at some point I'm planning to take down most of this hill between my pond and the village. Um, and I do this literally the whole time. I make a shovel consistently um, and hit up that hill to keep chopping it down with that and a pickaxe. And I work on the farm here. But like I was saying, I keep doing more stuff. Um... I felt like I needed to get fully enchanted diamond armor to try to make this as successful as I can in the beginning, obviously get my villagers. Next episode, I will be um, focusing on my enchantment area, so...
I really am pleased with what I've done <laughs> with this area. Uh, it makes the entrance to the village really cute, in my opinion. Um, and it's allowed me to get some gray stonks going, <laughs> honestly. But I end up growing trees, putting some fences around, getting everything kind of changed up. Um, and then we obviously get our first piece of obsidian to get our ice bucket challenge advancement. But then this is when I got serious about the diamond. So it's just strip mining. You see I have boots, a pickaxe, 10, and a sword. So I can make more gear, but I'm like, no, I'm going to keep pushing. This is the goal. I've spent so long strip mining. I've torn apart this area so much down here. I do really feel like I need to do a little more investigating on the replay mod, because I think some of this stuff especially builds in the future would be so much cooler from that perspective so i promise i'm going to try to work on that for the upcoming videos There's our chest plate, got our helmet. Trying to work on, you know, smelting down all the iron and the copper. But then we're back on the hunt for the rest of the diamond. I want, know I wanna make an enchantment table and some pants. Here we are trying some more lapis tricks, which I've honestly had this payoff like 98% of the time. I've only found two pieces of lapis so far that haven't resulted in diamonds, but in one of them it turned into silverfish and maybe that destroyed the diamond, but I don't think they can mess with ore blocks. So that's what happens when you're in mountain biomes. <laughs> But this is where we secure our last bit of diamond to be able to make our enchantment table set up and get some pantalones. Here's our pants. Yeah, I mean, I'm clearly celebrating a little too much there. I don't, clearly, just a little, just a tad. Just a little too much celebration. 
we end up smelting everything down, making blocks of stuff, getting everything set up, and then I do end up grabbing the crafting table and the two um, furnaces and making my way back up top with full diamond armor and a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe, and I'm going to be making an enchantment table so soon. But of course we got to sleep. It's dark out. Can't have that. I <laughs> gotta run away from everything. But here's how I place these down. I th think, yes, I end up going back this way towards the pond. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> Even though I just edited all this down, sometimes I confuse myself and everything. But my little farm area is coming along cute. I planted um, trees around it. And my ultimate goal is to be hopefully getting some bees, which I know how to take care of that. I take care of that in episode two. But expanding my farm, I do end up expanding it a bit. But we got to keep breeding the cows, getting other things set up. Coming around the hill. I get some sugar cane and we're gonna make our first books and our enchantment table. Got our first bookshelf too. And then here comes our enchantment table. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was trying to explain, this is where I'm gonna build this ravine over here is where I'm going to investigate, probably in one of the episodes soon, talking about this hill up here that I told you every time I pass by it, I cut a whole bunch more of it down, so I'd take care of that there, trying to terraform. Talking about my cute start to my village here, and I tower up just to give you and me a better view of it and where I snap the thumbnail at. But this is our progress so far in the first episode. Full diamond armor, getting our village set up, and our enchantment table at least. But thank you guys for watching our first hardcore episode back. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!